When law firms grow, hiring staff and finding resources to help you manage that staff can often be a difficult question. Hi, I'm Noreno Petro, Practice Management Advisor for the State Bar of Wisconsin's Practice 411 Law Office Management Assistance Program. And we're here today to find out more about the Wisconsin Association of Legal Administrators. And with me is Cease Vanderlip, former office manager of Nolan and Moat out of Janesville. Cease, good afternoon. Thank you, Noreno. Glad to be here. So what is WALA and what do they do? Well, WALA is the statewide chapter of the Association of Legal Administrators, which is a, a, a national association and in uh, other countries as well. And our goal is to improve uh, management in law firms and legal entities and to provide better services through networking, uh, resources, education, uh, et cetera. And so now, WALA is the Wisconsin chapter of ALA, is that correct? That's correct. And how many members in the Wisconsin chapter? The Wisconsin chapter has about 90 members. The National Association, Association has about 10,000 members, so we're part of a big group. But those members, even though while they seem small at 90, they represent small and large firms. So that was going to be my next question. Do you have to be a large firm to have a member of WALA on staff? No, you don't. You just need to be responsible for either the general management of the firm or manage a, a personnel or finance or IT section somewhere uh, within manage of the, management of the firm. So at what point should a firm consider hiring an administrator, in your opinion? Well, in many small firms, you probably have the attorney or maybe even the staff sharing some of their responsibilities of managing a firm. But um, once an attorney finds that a significant portion of their time is spent with managing finances or hiring or, or um, looking at insurance policies, whatever it might be, worried about accounts receivables, they probably need to think about hiring an administrator. And if they feel that they're, they're too small at this time in their practice growth to hire an administrator, they might want to look at becoming a member of WALA or ALA. There's a lot of resources out there for them, and I think they would find that a lot of solutions to questions they may have. Well, that's great information. So what can a professional administrator bring to a law firm? Well, they bring a lot. I know in my own experiences, I wore a lot of hats managing the, the firm of Nolan and Mott, and it was my uh, goal to do whatever it took to run that business so that the attorneys could concentrate on the practice of law. So I, I was in charge of uh, creating budgets, overseeing finance, hiring, you know, technology updates, uh, you know, insurance policy review, accounts receivable, whatever it took so that they could just concentrate on billable hours, servicing clients, and, and marketing their practice. So one of the other questions that come up often is when firms grow, are there resources that are available that they can use to help train their staff? Uh, definitely. Well, as far as the uh, management staff through, again, ALA or WALA, there's a lot of resources out there. It might be education meetings that we have. Both the Madison and Milwaukee areas have meetings once a month. There's uh, meetings throughout the state as well in smaller rural communities. And there are a lot of resources through um, just the peer networking that you have for various education resources. The State Bar um, also has training tapes for uh, management and staff uh, to some level. They have, uh, I think, uh, professionalism in a law office and, and um, civil litigation, I think, for staff. And they do some word and time management kinds of things. And then uh, certainly the, the NAILS, the National Association of Legal Professionals, which is a legal assistance, have an association also where there's a lot of training available through organizations such as that. Now, WALA and the State Bar of Wisconsin, in fact, recently paired up to do training videos for staff attorneys and associates, didn't they? Yes, they did. Uh, last fall, we ran a, a series of six webinars, and they were live as well as they are on demand on the State Bar's website. And we covered uh, a variety in those first six of topics, including finance and time management and client intake and and uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other titles here, but they were well received. And we are now working on series two, which we hope to begin taping on those in the fall. So uh, those are presented by an attorney and by a legal administrator or other legal professional. And they're a casual format held over the, the noon hour. And it's a way for attorneys to learn uh, more about running the practice of their, their or the business of their practice. Now you've mentioned ALA, the Association of Legal Administrators, which is the national organization several times. Do they have any resources that are available just to attorneys in Wisconsin without being a member? 
Well, there are um, uh, there is a resource called the LMRC, the Law Management Resource Center, that's on WISPAR's website, and that's under the Law Practice Management tab, and that's just a wealth of information out there. There's probably thousands of white papers out there that are available, and attorneys can also use, besides that resource, they can use the help desk to some degree through ALA, and by that they just need to call or email uh, ALA with what their problem is and someone will do the research on that and within hours and 24 hours for sure that sure they will have a um, response to that question. And in fact, as I recall, members of the State Bar's Law Office Management section have access to the help, the reference desk, the help desk, at no additional fee as part of their membership dues. Isn't that correct? That is correct. That's a very valuable member benefit for State Bar members. And in fact, the link on the website, I believe, is not only to ALA, but also to WALA as well on your website. Right. And on WALA's website, you'll find a lot of management resource papers as well, and they tend to be a little more Wisconsin-specific. So I would encourage lawyers to take a look at that as well. Well, there you have it, folks. What a great resource for Wisconsin lawyers. That, uh, that wraps up this edition of Practice 411 Fastlane. Look for us the next time.